Hello everyone, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to the first part of Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. Um, this is a remake of the original Metroid that you guys just watched me uh, do a full Let's Play of. Um, this is a massive remake that has changed a lot. I'm going to press start so we can kind of get this going. But it is a crazy good remake, and uh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things I like, and I'll go into it as we go through it. Um, this game also, I feel, feels longer, but I also know that it is still a very short game in terms of game time, but it is, it's going to be a thing, so either way, let's get into this. Alright, so I'm going to select start game. We're going to do the highest difficulty I can, uh, which is normal, so there we go. Planet Zevis. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. Okay! Okay! I really like that this game has a character portrait. So, um, this game is really awesome. It's very fast-paced and also um, is generally just really good and it has a very good art style like it looks very like drawn like in terms of like the sprite design and stuff um, It also has a lot of things carried over from uh, Super Metroid and Fusion uh, You guys will see as we go through it uh, one of them most notably as you're seeing right now wall jumping Which is pretty useful. I won't spend too much on it God, There are a few stupid things that it did kind of keep though. So as an example, there's kind of the short beam but Don't worry. We'll be able to do something about that so yeah, okay, morph ball. All right, but yeah, so pretty much uh, this game was uh, created to essentially just reimagine the very first Metroid, uh, since you know there is kind of like you know a continuity to these games, and so I kind of wanted to reinvent it, you know, in the context of like you know all the lore that had kind of you know come out since then, you know, kind of Prime included. Um, and the crazy ba thing about it is that this is the, like, last released 2D Metroid game. Um, there is, uh, for, um, you know, like, there's the fan remake of Metroid 2 that is in development, but aside from that, um, yeah, no, um, this is the last, uh, 2D Metroid game so far. Uh, there's, like, another game that kind of tried to capture the feel of it, which is, of course, uh, other M a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that game when, when that day comes. Um, so you guys may have noticed, uh, statue is telling me where to go. So we'll be heading there soon. Also, amazing thing! Look at that! It's a map! Gosh, I could have used that in uh, the first Metroid. Even though I did use the internet, so it kind of served the same function. But still, yeah. So it kind of told us where the next uh, major power-up is. Uh, I think the really cool thing is I don't have to get the missiles first in this version of the game, which is a really good change. Um, so yeah, you still have to worry about platforming correctly. One thing that may trip up people uh, playing this game in comparison to Fusion or Super Metroid, particularly Super Metroid, is that the platforming and movements are very fast, meaning it's also really easy to mess up uh, platforming segments. Again, I would uh, compare more to say uh, kind of slightly faster like jumping than uh, Mega Man game. So just uh, keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, this game overall is pretty easy though. You just need to you know know what you're working with. So yeah. Um, anyway, cool. Boop. Awesome. Also, of course, crouching down to shoot uh, lower objects is also definitely a returning thing from uh, Metroid 2, so yeah, pretty sure it's Metroid 2. If it's not Metroid 2, it is uh, Super Metroid, so there we go, boop, 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 boom, awesome. So we have the long beam now, which is going to make things a lot easier, so okay, boop. Yeah, also a thing I didn't really like address when I played uh, Metroid 1, uh, even though like you know, it, it's a pretty iconic thing, but it's just kind of so that everyone knows about the game now. So, you know, at the time when Metroid 1 came out, um, you know, most games, like, when they were side-scrollers, they kind of went in one direction. Uh, this was, you know, an exploration one. Hello. So, if you guys played the original game, you kind of get the gist of, like, what's going on here, because, uh, at its core, 
this game is kind of unchanged in terms of like you know how you progress it's kind of everything else built around it that has changed um, which is very nice um, and again there is a little bit more lore built in but generally uh, it's kind of taking the original structure and building on it so yeah there's still two main bosses but this game is designed much more like a modern uh, 2D Metroid game which is definitely uh, really good now, uh, one thing I was kind of thinking about the other day is that, like, I mean, if I wanted to actually see, like, the progression of the series, I actually totally should have done this one last in my Metro Marathon, but, honestly, guys, I, I kind of wanted to do it this way because that way you guys can see the plot progression, you know what I mean? And, yeah, um, I feel just, it, it makes more sense to go this route, so, I don't know. Either way, I'm glad we have the long beam now. Yeah, that's gonna make things a lot easier. Now you know it's red doors, and we can't do anything about red doors yet. Um, those are the missile doors. Um, a really awesome change that it uh, carried over from the Prime games is uh, missile doors only take one missile now. You do not need to shoot five. I'm going to miss that feature when I go to play Metroid 2 after this. Uh, but, you know, uh, and even Super Metroid, if I remember correctly. But, you know what? It's fine, we can roll with it for now. Oh, friggin'. I keep thinking I can grab ledges, uh, which is kind of a thing. All uh, right, okay. So there's a thing in this hallway. If you guys didn't guess, uh, we're gonna go and see if we can do something about that in a moment, though. Okay, so we just got our missiles again. This is just gonna be very familiar fare for you guys if you remember my uh, playthrough of Metroid One from a moment ago. Just you know, much better. Okay, let's go. So, whoa, hello, this is new, <laughs> okay, okay, boop, alright, alright, he's gonna move his head down, there we go, alright, oh, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, okay, oh no, well, he's gone. But don't worry, he'll show up again uh, later. Just yeah. <laughs> I think most people are expected to kind of fail the first time, so they like know the next time they like get it. Um, so yeah. Um, either way, let's continue. Um, I could save. Do I want to save? Let's save. Yeah, I love the fact that. Okay, save rooms also. That's a thing that they brought into this game from, uh, you know, of course, future installments. Starting with Metroid 2, actually. Metroid 2 is the one that invented the save points. Uh, you guys can thank that. Thank, thank the developers of Metroid 2 for that. Um, I know that Metroid 2 gets a lot of hate. I think it's a, I think it's a decent game, honestly. But yeah, um, either way, it just happens to not be like you know from the, like. It, like, of course, it's not going to be Super Metroid, because Super Metroid came afterwards and kind of, you know, defined everything, but, like, Metroid 2, in the context of when it was released, is actually pretty decent. It's just, yeah. I like Metroid 2 a lot. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just kind of exploring around. Okay, so we don't want to go in that room yet. Oh, we're going to be going through it anyway later on, so, I mean, yeah. I think we'll just save that for later. Yeah, I kind of know generally where to go, like, very well from this. Uh, fun fact, if you guys were wondering at times, like, wh how I would know where I'm going playing, uh, the original Metroid 1, it's because I played this one a lot, so, like, there's definitely a lot of, uh, familiar terrain and layout, uh, in between the two versions of this game, um, which is definitely very helpful. Again, it, the way that you go about exploring this world, it has been drastically changed. And again, over here, hey look, it's a secret! Missile tank acquired. Awesome. Okay, so let's go over here. And yeah. Alright, well, I've ran out of missiles already. Let's just do that. Come on. I need missiles really bad. 
I'm gonna need them in a moment. If this is the room I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, well, I got that at least. Of course. Alright. So this one, you're supposed to win. But you can win the other one if you do it right. Alright. There we go. Come on. Alright. Come on. He's gonna come over there. Alright, boom. Done. Alright. Pretty easy boss, you just gotta move fast. And we got the charge beam, which did not exist in the original Metroid 1. Uh, it was actually introduced in Super Metroid. Super useful ability. Uh, you guys will see me make very good use out of it. But it's definitely not as useful as it is in the Prime games or even Metroid Fusion. I feel Metroid Fusion is when the charge beams kinda are at their like peak of usefulness. Because uh Kind of the original Metroid through Super Metroid. Uh, the main way that you want to go about killing things is pretty much missiles. And that's kind of maintained in Zero Mission a bit. Um, but regardless. Okay. Yeah. One thing that I kind of don't like that isn't in this game, particularly after playing a bit of the fan remake of Metroid 2, at least as it's been developing, is they brought in a really cool feature from uh, the Prime games. Which is that the charge beam uh, sucks in pickups such as health replenish replenishables and stuff. Uh, and you can't really do that in this. Anyways, we have a map now. Um, which, yeah, pretty useful. Again, we've already gone to most of these places, but hey, that's there to help us find things now. So, yeah. Um, let's go over here. Also, another really cool thing about this game, uh, which is also the case with a lot of these Metro games. Um, there's, it's really easy to sequence break this game, um, and it's intended to kind of be that way, um, gosh, like, I, I feel it's very much intended to be that way, because there's just, like, okay, you can do things the normal way, but you can, like, do things the faster way and do the other stuff. Now, granted, it does kind of glitch out a few things if you do go that route, but it's still very useful. Yeah. See the way, yeah, like I said, this is very different from, hello, boop, Metroid 1, oh man. Another thing, uh, just like in Super Metroid, you can actually lay as many bombs as you want, there's no like specific number, and uh, again, which is useful for sequence breaking because if you like time this right, boop, 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 and you can do that like infinitely. Uh, you can just keep bomb jumping upwards, and that is a very good way to sequence break a lot of areas, because you can just kind of go through and just like go like, hey, I want to pick up this item early, and that's like, yep, all I need to do is just bomb jump right, fall at the right angle, and boom. Now, of course, it can be kind of tricky, and uh, in some instances, if you want to go for certain items, it might take a lot of practice, and therefore, you know, but if you do manage to pull off some things, you get stuff way earlier, and then it makes the rest of the game super easy. But... I can try and do this by the order that the game wants me to, um, partly because if I try and do that stuff, I'm going to be like trying to like bomb jump an area for like a super long time and then just end up rage quitting that and no one's going to want to watch that. So we're just going to keep it strictly to kind of where the game wants me to go for now. And we'll just have to remember, you know, backtracking because that's kind of a big thing in these games. Um, so yeah, if you guys didn't notice that from my Metroid 1 playthrough. Okay. Frickin'. There we go. The jumps. Like I said, it's not as floaty as a lot of the other Metroid games. I mean, I like the lack of floatiness, but yeah, it's definitely a thing. Okay. So if I go down here, I should be getting a thing. Frickin'. Okay. Ah! Uh Haha! <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Boom. And boom! Okay. One missile. Again, so streamlined. Okay, so in the original game, this is where the ice beam was, but I guess 
in this version of the game, it's telling me where the ice beam is. So that's all right. Um, part of the reason for that, you guys will see, uh, your weapons actually stack instead of like replacing every time you get a new one. Um, again, that was a very big thing. So, yeah. Um, gosh, can I just say again, I really love the sprite work of this game. Like, uh, Samus's whole body kind of lights up red when you shoot, if you, like, notice by the frames. Or maybe you can't see it. Again, I know, uh, OBS doesn't catch stuff that, like, you would think that you think it would sometimes. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Okay. Let's actually purposely pull down here. Yeah, okay. I just want to clear out that map if I can. So there's that whole area up there, but we're not going to explore that yet. Well, let's go down here for sure. Okay, so real quick, ah, uh, alright, ah, oh, for frick's sake, what, I'm not meaning to exit out of my form, okay, why, okay, boom, got it, alright, awesome, dupe, Hey, God, I love that there was an actual thing here. You know, unlike Metroid 1. Yeah, this was uh, the room that was just kind of like a trap room in the original one. Because there's just nothing here except for, like, enemies to fight. Which was really stupid. Oh my gosh, can I just? Can I just? Oh, there we go, that works. Alright. Do, 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 do. Again, this is a crazy good remake. Like, oh my gosh. I'm, so, I'm actually really happy they made this game. And actually, it's for a lot of reasons like this that that fan remake of Metroid 2 exists. Because this remake was so good. So good. And Metroid 2 uh, kind of needs, needs it the most out of all these games. Um, which is kind of what makes the fact that Nintendo never, like, officially did one after Zero Mission. Because it, it's definitely an important piece plot-wise, and we just never see it, you know? Um, granted, Super Metroid does Oh, hello. Cutscene. Mother brain. <laughs> ah, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, Super Metroid does a decent job of like like catching up to speed, I guess. But I don't know. There's like still things that it doesn't do like as well. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so let's actually head left real quick. Um, that will take us, uh, you know, to some items that are gonna be useful. So let's go. Do do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna see what's breaking this. Got it. Now you're supposed to get use a different ability from later, but uh frig it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh man. I really like that about these games though. Like, it's just really useful, like, being able to, like, kind of do that stuff. Like, the game doesn't punish you for doing it. It's just an option for people who are really good at doing that. Anyway, we are in a brand new area. It is called Criteria. Um, we're going to explore that in a moment, though. Let's head left first. So, Criteria is the surface of Zebus. Um, but, yeah. This is just very new to... Metroid 1, so in this one, but yeah, it is in other Metroid games. Hello. Oh, that's that one fish enemy. Uh, those are in Fusion. Actually, I kind of want to explore down here. Uh, see what's here. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, man. So in uh, most 2D Metroid games, um, water slows down your terrain movement. Um... Yeah, I can't do that. No way. Um, so, you usually need a certain ability to be able to do stuff. Um, 
course, I don't have that ability at this exact moment, but yeah. Oh, hello. What's down here? I want to get it. Hey, how's it going, fish dude? Oh, hey, look at that. I'm rewarded for my exploration. Okay, so let's go over here. Jump up. Jump up. Boop. Alright, I get to wait for the platform to come back. Cool. And do. Okay. Boop. Awesome. So then we're gonna go over here. Go right. Boop. And up we go. Chozo Ruins. Another brand new area. So, let's go over here. Okay. So that block over there we can't do anything about right now. Oh, I can see there's a missile thing right there. Well, hello. Unknown item. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, either way. Let's go here. Boop. And I got a missile tank. Okay. So if you shoot right here, there you go. And out I am. Okay. So, with that thing, I can now actually destroy these blocks. Um, but the item's actual function and purpose, I don't know yet. And we'll find out later. So, anyways. Okay. So this is also another example of sequence breaking, wall jumping. If I can do this right. Okay. Okay, I am messing this up. I don't want to do this for too long. Yeah, oh. What the heck? I used to be so good at this. Oh, I almost made it. Whatever. So, yeah, that is something you can do. Um, it is very useful. Um, you can pretty much clear any wall if it's like a flat sideways wall like that so oh well, I'm down here now okay it's a pretty mysterious place I'll be honest okay let's go here and hello power grip ooh what is that Head grab and hang from ledges and corners ooh. hey so that ability was actually introduced, hello, it was actually introduced in Metroid Fusion, um, but it's an item that you can get in this game. And yeah, so now I can just uh, do that. Ah, uh, I messed it up. Whatever, don't matter. It's not how you're supposed to get up at all anyway. Okay, boop. Mm. Alright. So what's down there? Okay, it doesn't look like anything. So let's go over here. Anything up there? No? Alright. Oh, whatever. Boop! Awesome. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, well it looks like there was definitely a ledge up there, but I couldn't get to it. Hey, look here! It's my ship! My weapons and energy are fully restored. Awesome. That's yeah, safe. Safe complete. So yeah, um, that's a thing from uh, Super Metroid. Uh, your gunship. So if you return to your gunship, you can pretty much restore your uh, ammo and health and also save. It is pretty good to remember, I guess, in certain situations. You're not going to be, like, getting, like, nearby to it very often, though. So, like... I mean, it's, it's useful, but not, like, ultra useful. So let's head down, though. <clears throat> oh, man, Norfair, though. So, let's head over here. Boop. Alright. Shoot you. So I'm probably gonna try to 100% this as well. Um, interesting thing about uh, the 2D Metro games is they actually have two bonuses. So, remember on Metro 1, I said if I completed the game in, like, three hours or something uh, I got like that one ending okay so there's now two criteria on um, the uh, pay a hand in like what ending you get 
Um, one is your completion bonus, so how many things you have gotten. And the other part is how quickly you beat the game. So, the idea is pretty much to 100% the game as fast as possible. And that's how you get the perfect ending. Now, I, I, I gotta double check what the criteria is for this game. I'm pretty sure for this it's 3 hours 100%. Uh, which there's a lot more to find, and some of the ways you go about getting things is a lot more complicated this time around. Um, so yeah, I also realized we're at 26 minutes already. Wow. Okay. But then again, we were around this point in, uh, the original game anyway, but still. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna grab the ice beam and then we'll end off there. I feel that would be uh, our good way to go here. So, let's go up here and boop! Awesome. Okay, I really do love this remake though. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Okay, so I guess those are supposed to be those like platform things that were like shooting fireballs at me in uh, the original game. So I don't know. There's no point to going up there. I don't even know why I was shooting at that one guy a moment ago, but yeah. Friggin! Floaty friggin' things. Alright. Let's go in here. Actually, what was up there? I want to double check on that. Crud. Okay, so there's like two doors. Okay, do not go in here. I mean, I could. I don't know if that would be like wise though. Like, I think I'm supposed to go there later, for sure. Okay. Okay. Power grip, though. Alright. And boop! Ice beam! Hello, green door. Okay. So, something I wish was in this game, though, uh, was, like, would be the ability to, you know, turn off uh, certain abilities and stuff, which is something that was in Super Metroid, but they took out a fusion in this game for whatever reason, which is kind of stupid, but I don't know. Kind of drove me nuts in fusion, because like, okay, so like, I'm gonna switch over to this menu, right? It like, hovers over this stuff, but it doesn't let me like, turn it on and off, and it looks like you should, right? Like, since it's doing a thing, but no. No, that's not how it works, and yeah, it drives me nuts. But anyway, let's save. Okay. Anyway. Doop. So we're gonna wanna freeze one of these guys and then we're just gonna have to do some clever platforming. Alright. Alright, there we go. Cool. Oh, right. Let's reset the room. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Frigate. Alright. Boom. Got it. Okay. Let's get the plot statue moving. Alright, he's gonna tell us to go back and then go left. Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. So, unlike the original game, though, uh, you don't actually get a choice in terms of which area you have to go to first, which is a little bit lame, but that's alright. I can live with it. Um, okay. Alright. Hello? Are you just gonna not? Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Gosh. It really is interesting kind of like how artistic again this game kind of looks in comparison to like a lot of the other Metroid games. Like even the, a lot of the 2D ones. I don't know. Like, like again, the way the fire looks in the background, that is kind of very artistically... I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know if it's fire or what, but... 
It definitely is interesting to look at regardless. Okay. So we could try and cheese this room. Alright, let's see what's in here. I'm gonna like bail out super fast. Okay. Okay. Running. Running. Going. Forget it. We'll come back to this room later. Okay. I probably could have cheesed that if I really wanted to. Alright, let's not go this way. That's how I'm gonna go back through that area if I do that, and I don't wanna do that right now. Okay, okay. Right, so to actually go down there and pick up the high jump boots, I actually need a uh, new ability that they brought into this game from Super Metroid. Um, and I don't have that yet, so we're gonna have to pick that up later. Um, Okay, boop. Little puzzle there. Alright, so I got missiles, and we're going to head... Okay! Boop. I also, um, fun fact, uh, I played this game a little bit on the Genma to Ashes channel. Um, I never, we didn't beat it though, like many, like most of the games that we started um, before, you know, we stopped making videos. Yeah. Um, still, I am really happy with Let's Playing it though. I don't know. You guys will tell, have to tell me, you know, which playthrough would be more enjoyable, or was more enjoyable. Like, you know, for what time that I did spend. Anyways, I think this is a uh, good part length. I don't know. I feel though we should, uh, yeah, I feel this is a good part length. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this part of uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Next part, we're going to be heading over to Kraid, and uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens there. So I hope you guys have a nice day, and uh, maybe we'll pick up some items on the way, maybe. I have no idea. So anyway, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, mm, bye!